During the last quarters, something definitely strange happened, uh, happens in Turkey to a big surprise of most of the, the, the foreign investors in the Turkey. Turkey. Turkish economy had stayed very strong and very stable and, this and stayed very resilient indeed. This is due to some of the facts that we definitely have to consider as a developer. One of these is the banking industry because this is very important for us because the first thing that we need to, to depend on is the banks because we need to cover our expenses or to cover the, the cost of construction with, with, uh, with project financing. And at the end, we, need def we definitely need refinancing of the projects. During the last six quarters, we managed to raise around $300 million in Turkey, though we couldn't raise even a penny in Russian market. And we couldn't raise on the project financing side, and we couldn't raise on the on the uh, on the refinancing side. Though we had the A-class buildings in the center of the cities, which are considered as trophy assets of their classes, like the cities in Saint Petersburg and Moscow. Another factor that we are always very much interested in is the population. Turkey, with 70 million population, 70 percent of this population is is living at urban settlements. It means 50 million people we have in urban settlements. And in Turkey we have 26 million labor force, which is, a, which is the biggest factor in, at the back of Turkish exports. Uh, uh, and we, uh, again, 75% 70, of the population is under 40 years old. And this makes Turkey very dynamic and a growing country indeed. And the the other factor which we are always considering is, the, is, the, is how strong the tenants, because in, in every case, in every country, we need the tenants. So the quality of tenants, the quality of tenants are, are getting stronger and stronger in Turkish economy, which is, which is a very big factor indeed. And when we look at the Turkish economy, due to the, uh, thanks to the good relations with our, uh, with our neighborhood countries, starting with Iran, Iraq, you know, Syria. These are very much underserved countries indeed. And all these countries, Turkey has now a new visa regime with all these countries. All these, from these countries, people can visit Turkey without any, any visa requirement. And there are today eight shopping centers. Eight shopping centers are today under construction at the southern part of Turkey, which will mostly support to the, to the tourists that are coming from Syria which is a big factor indeed. And today in Turkey we have 25 million tourists and only 15% of them are coming from Arabic countries. And this number is growing by 25% annually. Turkish banks continue to support um, their investors in 2008 and 2009. And mostly this was because, or let's say mostly because thanks to the um, restructuring of Turkish economy and banking system after 2001 crisis. The debt levels in Turkish market and in the banking sector are at low stages and the capital adequacy ratios are still high compared to uh, what was before. Foreign investors usually prefer the retail market. Uh, it is a consequence of a couple of parameters. First of all, unfortunately on the office side, um, we are not preparing enough products or qualified products for the international investors. Unfortunately, in Turkish market, there's a custom to sell the offices floor by floor uh, because the investor makes much more money if um, they sell it floor by floor. So, but of course, this is something that cannot be accepted by an institutional international investor. So this is one of the reasons. The second reason is um, retail market is much more vivid, um, more active compared to the office sector. In Turkey, Office markets parameters are a little bit different, but we expect the office market to improve um, in the coming years because there is obviously a short supply in the market and there are lots of office investors who are looking to invest um, in Turkey. I'm talking about international investors. Mm -hmm. Turkey is a growing economy. I, am, I mean, we have seen that uh, how fast we can grow after the crisis. So I believe that in the coming two to three years, we will see different schemes on the office side. We will see office parks um, just you know, on the periphery of the cities. 
and there will be new business, uh, new business park developments. Maybe on the CBD, some of the old office blocks will be brought down, and there will be new developments instead with the new zoning parameters. So I think that we will see an office market. But if you ask me if that office market will be an office market, uh, will be like a retail market in 2007, it needs a little bit of time and a kind of a change in the mindset. I mean, we should be living to sell floor by floors if we are going to make some big changes in the market. The new initiative of Urban Land Institute, the, called as the Urban Investment Network, and uh, the main idea is to bring the uh, founding partners uh, and uh, come together on the, from the public side and from the private side and to be able to close the investment gap in the European cities and founding partners uh, in five big European cities like Barcelona, uh, Amsterdam, Edinburgh and lastly Istanbul, most probably London or Paris, or both of them, so it may be six. And uh, also there, are, there will be five or six private companies, such as ECE, Allianz, ING, ING Bank, Eurohypo. And there are also organizational uh, knowledge partners, such as OECD, Ernst & Young, LEED from the United States, and there are partners, uh, includes Moscow and Birmingham, city of Birmingham. So this is the whole picture. And our very dear friend, Musa Yetim, he has been elected as the new chairman of the initiative of uh, Urban Investment Network in Europe. So uh, we are going to host the next summit of the initiation initiative uh, in September 23rd in Istanbul this year. So it will be the second summit of the uh, Urban Investment Network and uh, there will be uh, large uh, investors and big invest investment companies of Europe and maybe from the other place in the world. They will come and join us in Istanbul and it will be continue at every five years. So we are going to enlighten the big potential of Istanbul and, of course, starting from Istanbul, the whole Turkey to the international investors. And I believe by this way, we are going to create very strong uh, collaboration, cooperation between the, the international investors and the Turkish local companies. And we'll create big, uh, maybe, partnerships. Uh, so. We hope to see all of you on 23rd of September in Istanbul.